Good morning and happy Monday. This is Evangelist Marion from Jesus is Lord Crusades. This morning, I pray that this message finds you well. And if so, please go ahead and share. Let it be a blessing to somebody. Share, 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 and share. And we know that as many hearts receive this word, you may never know whose life you can change because you shared. So, Father, I thank you for our listeners. I pray for them, that you will deliver them from all forms of evil. I pray that goodness and mercy shall follow them all the days of their lives. And more importantly, Father, your will will be done in their lives as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, yesterday I had the opportunity to visit a wonderful church. And uh, as the man of God was preaching the scripture, one of the scriptures that he used was a blessing to me. And I knew that it will bless you this morning. It's in Colossians chapter 4, verses 12. And let me read the New King James Version. It says that Epaphras, who is one of you, a bond servant of Christ, greets you always laboring fervently for you in prayers that you may stand perfect and complete in all the will of God. Oh, I've fallen in love with this scripture. The New Living Translation says that Epaphras, a member of your own fellowship, a servant of Christ Jesus, sends you his greetings. He always prays earnestly for you, asking God to make you strong and perfect, fully confident that you are following the whole will of God. Ah, so this is a guy in the church, the Colossian church, who has made it his heart desire. He has made it a point in his life that he wants to see the will of God pass in in the life of God's people. And so what he does is that he labors in prayer. Now to labor in prayer means that consistently he is on his knees praying. He, there is not a day that passes without him praying for his pastor, praying for the leaders of the churches in, in, in Colossians, praying for the leaders and for Paul and for Peter and for all the apostles. He's made up his mind that, look, I am not going to complain. I am not going to sit and just watch our pastors fall. I am not going to sit and just watch our pastors fail. But rather, I am going to see to it that the will of God is done in their life. I'm going to pray earnestly, asking God to make them strong, make them perfect, fully convinced that they are following the whole will of God. My goodness, these are the kind of hearts we need. We need hearts like this in the body of Christ. And this morning, God is calling you and I to begin to desire that we will see the will of God come to pass in our churches. We will see the will of God come to pass in our fellowship. We will see the will of God come to pass in the life of our children, in our young ones, those are falling uh, out of churches and in all the auxiliary groups within the church we will see the will of God come to pass. We need hearts like this. Beloved, instead of us complaining, backbiting, memory, saying all kinds of things that sometimes we are not even sure of. When you balance the scale, you realize that you are talking more than you are praying. If this is you, then I want to encourage you in this season. Ask the Lord to give you a heart like Epaphras. A heart, someone who desires to labor, labor for the kingdom. And I I trust me, God will bless you and God will reward you. You know, I'm not saying that when something is wrong, we cannot complain. But I'm saying that some of us, we have lifted our eyes onto other things. We are laboring for our own Um, treasures. We are laboring for everything else but God. And we are looking at our pastors falling and making errors and all kinds of things. And we sit there, join unbelievers, talk about them, insult them and say, look at what the body of Christ has become. If you will give yourself to prayer for the things of God, to make sure that the will of God will be done on earth as it is in heaven, I dare you that you will see a change in your own church. You will see a change in the things of God. You will see a change around you. So beloved, this morning, God is calling us to prayer. God is calling us to have a heart like a power for us. God is calling us to be people who stand, who pray, who labor earnestly in prayer to see that people will stand perfect and fully assured in the will of God. 
it is my prayer that you will allow yourself to be obedient, to pray that many will stand firm, mature, to be fully convinced Christians so that Satan will not have their minds in complete obedience to God's will. A heart of Epaphras is what I pray for you today. I pray that you will open up your heart and ask God to give you a heart that prays to see that his will will come to pass. Talk less and pray more. Happy Monday. This is Evangelist Marin from Jesus' Lord Crusades.